All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here at Western Kentucky University for our Live from the Hill series. Um, if you haven't tuned into one of these before, basically each week we're taking a portion of campus and talking about that, showing you that portion, um, as well as a theme here at WKU. And my name is Bryson. I'm the International Admissions Counselor here at WKU. So it's basically my job to help international students like yourself um, come and study with us here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, so, like I said, we've had a lot of different themes throughout the last few weeks um, as we've talked through these different episodes, but this week we're talking about our College of Education and Behavioral Sciences um, and, their, and everything that entails. Before we get started, I have a special guest joining me today. Um, I'm going to allow him to come on and say hello, um, and Christian, if you want to say where you're from and what you're studying, that would be great. Hi, everyone. Uh I'm Christian. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm a student of organizational leadership, and this is my second year, the final year of master's degree. I'm happy to join you today. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. We're happy to have you, Christian. Um, all right, so I'm walking outside here. I'm going to turn my camera around because before we get started inside, um, I want to show you the outside of this building. So in my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful buildings on campus. Um, so this is Gary Ransdale Hall. Um, so Gary Ransdale Hall is home to a lot of the different programs within our College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Um, it is one of the newer buildings on campus and as you can see it is very very beautiful. Um, so I couldn't you know start today inside without showing you first the outside of the building. So I'm gonna Forgive me just one moment. I'm going to go on inside so we get some better sound quality. And then we'll get started with today's tour. All right. So, like I said, Today we're talking about the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Um, so pretty much everything that this specific college entails um, is counseling and student affairs, educational administration and leadership and research, military science and leadership, psychology, professional studies, and teacher education. Um, so those are kind of the broad topics, but I do want to say that there are a lot of different um, certificates and majors and concentrations within those programs as well. So for example, within counseling, you can do marriage counseling, you can do um, sports counseling. Within psychology, you can do um, all kinds of different um, concentrations within that as well. So there are a lot of different programs within the College of Educational Behavioral Sciences. Um, and I would encourage you, if you're kind of interested in that, uh, to go to our website, if you just search College of Education and Behavioral Sciences or CEBS. Uh, you can find a list of all of the programs um, within that. But again, uh, so today is Gary Ransdale Hall, which is where a lot of our CEBS programs are housed. Um, and I just want to take a moment to show you the front of this building because it is very gorgeous. Um, so you can kind of see there's a wonderful skylight above us there. Um, very, very beautiful. Christian, I'm assuming you've had some classes in this building. Yes, uh, yeah, and uh, I like so much that lobby down, which is really a place that uh, enabled, uh, enabled me to meet other students from uh, different nationalities. And I also love the library. We have a, our own library of the department, it, which, has also, which also offer a nice place for reading. It is very, it, it is very quiet. And uh, also, it has a room where students can meet and uh, discuss in group. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. So um, this, this portion here is the library. I apologize, it's dark. Um, I do want to say that we currently are, you know, in the summer, um, in virtual, so not a lot of people are here thanks to COVID restrictions. Um, so usually you would see, you know, people walking in about this building. However, it's quite empty today. Um, but this is the library, as Christian was saying. So there's a lot of resources for students within the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences here. Um, this is not our main library. It's one of our smaller ones. Our main library uh, system is toward the top of our campus. 
Um, so our campus is actually built on a hill. We are known as the Hill Toppers. Um, so that makes it really great for campus because you can kind of cut in and around the hill, over the hill, um, and it makes a lot of different short plus, shortcuts possible for classes. But our main libraries are toward the top of the hill. Um, and I also want to encourage you, if you haven't tuned into one of our uh, Live from the Hill episodes before, there are several, like I was saying, there is actually one that is just a general campus tour. It's the first one we did. Um, so I'd absolutely encourage you to watch that episode to get a better sense of kind of where things are located on the hill. Um, so in this portion, I kind of want to show you a basic classroom. If we can kind of peek through here, um, you can see kind of a pretty basic setup of what classes look like here in Gary Ransdell Hall. And I also want to note that um, we take pride in very small class sizes here at WKU. So a lot of large universities like ours, when you take your classes, you'll be sitting in huge auditoriums. You might have 200, 300 people sitting in there taking classes with you. Um, but that's normally not the case here at WKU. Um, you might have a couple of intro classes. They're a little bit larger. But for the most part, you're going to be sitting in a classroom um, with, you know, 20, 30, 35 people at the maximum, um, which is really great because it makes the classroom a lot more personal experience. Um, so you can raise your hand, your professor will know your name, you'll be able to ask questions. You're not just a face in the crowd. Uh, I do want to point out this is the back of the building. We're not going to go back outside, but uh, there's a lovely little area here in the back for students to sit out and study, to hang out. Um, when it's really great weather here in the back of Ransdale Hall. Um, and that's the norm here at WKU as well. We, we make sure there's a lot of prime study real estate on our campus, um, both in our buildings and outside our buildings. Um, so, you know, during a, a normal day in the semester, you'll be able to, to sit out in between classes, work on some of your homework, hang out with your friends, have some lunch. There's a lot of, of opportunities for that here on campus. Um, so in this area of the building, we have the School of Teacher Education um, and Professional Educator Services. Um, so within this building, there are several classrooms that I just showed you like that, more traditional classrooms, desk and the, and the professor stands up and teaches. However, there are a lot of non-traditional classrooms as well. Uh, I'm going to show you when we get up to a, a higher floor, some of the psychology clinical labs. Um, but there are several rooms in this building that are kind of catered to more of a um, elementary or high school type classroom because it is where our um, educational services are located, where people are coming to learn about being a teacher. So it only makes sense that um, our classrooms are kind of set up in that way uh, so they can better get a sense of teaching in a classroom. Um, as we come around this direction though, Um, this is still the School of Teacher Education, um, but as we're going up here, Christian, if you want to maybe tell folks watching um, maybe why you chose WKU, um, I think they would really appreciate that. Yeah, uh, first, uh, I would like to work in a government and non-governmental organization when I go back to Africa. So there were certain things that I considered. That was obviously a reputable university with excellent education. I was also looking for a curriculum that fits my career goals. And uh, I was also looking for a, to be part of a cosmopolitan community where I will meet people from different nationalities. And I was also looking for a range of affordable tuition fees. And uh, WKU, when compared to other universities that I was considering, it stood head and shoulders above. And uh, the choice was obvious from that point. Awesome. I think a lot of students, that's the case, um, because, you know, we at WKU, we kind of like to say we have all the major resources of a large public institution here in the U.S., but we kind of have this, the feel of a small liberal arts college um, because, you know, we do have those major things like huge access to research and libraries. Um, and, you know, very large sporting events that are well known and a huge alumni base. But like I said earlier, we take pride in those smaller class sizes. Um, so it is a very personal experience with NWKU. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. 
Um, as you were saying, Christian, you kind of look for something um, with the with city feel. Um, I will say that Bowling Green itself is a very small city. It's about 67,000 people. Um, but I think it's the third largest city in Kentucky. Um, so we do have a lot going for us here within Bowling Green. Um, there are, at one time, we had more places to eat per capita than anywhere else in the United States. I'm not sure if that's still true, but all kinds of different restaurants. There are major sporting events. Um, Nashville is only an hour away from us. Nashville, Tennessee, which is the music capital of the world. Um, so we do have a lot, kind of a mini metro uh, here in Bowling Green. It is very rural though, for the most part in our surrounding areas. So lots of lakes, lots of farmland, um, lots of nature. So if you enjoy things like kayaking, hiking, things like that, I would say you're probably going to love it here. Um, so I'll take another moment just to admire the beauty of this building so you can see it well. Very nice, very nice. Here's some more of that study real estate I was telling you about. So you can find little nooks and crannies like this throughout most of our buildings here at WKU. Um, so you can just hang out and study in between classes. All right. <clears throat> so something else I wanna point out about the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, um, there are so many different ways to learn outside of the classroom. Um, so they take a lot of pride in having lots of different research opportunities, internship opportunities, cooperative opportunities. Um, and in fact, that's considered part of the experience of studying here in College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Um, so you're definitely not gonna be, you know, just stuck in the classroom for your entire duration of your program here. Speaking of which, Christian, do you wanna talk a little bit about your specific program that you're studying and tell students about it? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, our class, they are liberally small and uh, that's make our class to be more interactive. Also, I like the fact that uh, our course is uh, designed to be leadership, more practical skill, to, to, to give us more practical leadership skills. And uh, our professors have leadership practical experience which make our courses to be very experimental and applied. Yeah. And uh, also I like that, that I, I like that we have uh, camp, we, we, we have professors who are willing to guide us through our academic progress. They are approachable. And uh, each student has an advisor to whom you talk anytime you want. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So the hallway we just went through, um, it was for professional study. So when at that, uh, we have things like workforce administration, we have a real estate if you're interested in that as well. Um, so again, very diverse within this specific college. It's not just, you know, education. Um, and then in this hallway, uh, this most of this floor actually is psychology. So um, within psychology, there are so many different types of courses you can take. You can take um, courses within, you know, early childhood development and psychology. You can take um, psychology and alcoholism. You can do marriage psychology. Um, you can look at psychology within different cultures. Um, so lots of different courses. I want to show you here. I love this little um, kind of nook area for people to hang out. I just think it looks really cool. Um, but yes, and then also up here are some of our psychology labs. So. Um, there are a lot of counseling services that happen up here. Um, with NWKU, there are counseling services that are free to students. So um, counseling services, therapy services, um, and some of those are gonna be within our students studying psychology, studying counseling. Um, so again, they're getting their hands-on experience, but then you can also utilize that. So if you'd like to talk to someone um, about what's going on, maybe, um, you just, just really need to talk about being homesick or um, maybe you're having a family issue or something like that. You can absolutely use the services here at WKU. All right, I come around the corner here. 
Um, on this side, we have educational administration, leadership, and research. So again, lots of research opportunity here. A few of our research labs you can kind of see, I can't, I don't have access into this portion. Um, you can see it is quite a large building. <clears throat> All right, so along with studying here at WKU, maybe studying within the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, um, you know, you're coming here for your education, but you're gonna be spending a large amount of time here, probably two years or four years, depending on your degree. Um, we want you to have a good experience here at WKU. And it is all about learning, but you learn so much outside the classroom. You learn by making friends, you learn about meeting people from different cultures, you learn about the American culture while you're here. Um, but then also you're trying to get that American experience, right? Because otherwise you would, you know, stay in your home country or a different country um, to study. So um, there's a lot happening here at WKU outside um, of studying as well. So there are so many different events that we have. Uh, we have huge major sporting events for Division I sports. We have um, lots of different performances, theater performances, musical performances. There are over 300 different student organizations on campus. So everything from intramural sports to service learning opportunities um, to different ac academic clubs. So there's a biology club. There is a, um, a teacher association. There's all kinds of different things like that. Um, and then also our campus is just very, um, very large, very beautiful. Again, I do encourage you to watch our general campus tour and kind of see what the whole thing is all about. Um, so there's there's a lot to do here at WKU. Christian, what would you say is um, one of your favorite things about being on WKU's campus or maybe just in Bowling Green itself? Uh, I, I love the hospitalities of people of uh, WKU at the Bowling Green. And uh, I really, I am intrigued and motivated by what I'm learning every day. And uh, I would say that uh, studying at WKU was the best decision I ever made. All right, very nice. All right, so that is basically the general tour of this building. I know it's pretty brief. Um, and this is the main building for College of Educational and Behavioral Sciences. So some of our other tours um, go over multiple buildings. Um, but I do want to open to questions if you have any questions um, or Christian, if there's anything else you want to add about studying here at WKU or studying within College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, um, we can do that if you'd like. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty actually. It's quite warm in this building. <laughs> No questions or anything? All right, well, I also want to encourage you all um, to email us. You can absolutely email us with questions. Our email is iem at wku.edu. Um, absolutely follow us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WKU International. Follow us on Facebook. Um, because we're absolutely here for you. And then also, I want to tell you about our International Student Diplomat Program. So Christian is one of our new International Student Diplomats. So basically, our diplomats are um, our ambassadors for our international students here at WKU. So they can um, answer your questions, they can email with you, WhatsApp with you, they can set up video calls, Skype calls, um, to tell you what life is really like here as an international student at WKU. Um, so they're an absolute resource to you as well. Um, so Christian, is there anything else you want to say before we go? Nothing else? I might have lost you for a second. All right, that's really all that I have. Um, thank you all so, so much for joining. Thank you for watching. If you're watching the recorded version of this, we really appreciate that as well. Um, we hope that you have a great day. Stay well, stay healthy. Christian, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.